Welcome to episode two, getting attacked by evil chicken. Let's see what happens here. Oh, you just... Critical hit. Man, look at the game ticks on the attack. It's so freaking fast. Look at this. Holy cow. This chicken doesn't stand a chance. Level 159 against a level 37. And I'm slaying this chicken. Hit points. Strength. Golly. We're slaying it. Come on. Oh, how many feathers do I get? 122 feathers and a raw chicken. Huh. Not really sure that was worth it. Okay, guys, so welcome to episode two. Um, I know we're going to kick things off here with some Slayer, but one thing I know I want to go after, like, almost immediately is... Oh, am I lagging? There we go. Um, is here at the home teleport, if you can trade Oziak, the Slayer Master, you get a Slayer store. Um, the Bone Crusher is 150,000 PVM tokens. I definitely want to save up for that. That is going to be, like, a go-to thing. That's going to help, like basically passively get 99 prayer especially with the xp rates i'm getting right now um blood fury shards like right now i don't really know exactly what to get those for uh the shards of justice i'm sure it's all for smithing um you can buy the totem pieces i'm sure to go kill um i'm blanking on the boss name hey there's winter og um and then that tooth half of keys and the crystal keys you can also i think you need those to make dragon stuff and whatnot uh, but Bone Crusher is going to be a go-to necessity. So I'm going to be doing a lot of Slayer and saving up for that. Um, for making videos for uh, August RuneScape Private Server, I've been giving two community boxes. I'm going to be giving away one community mystery box. So these are what... This is basically the loot table of what's inside. You could get a Major Combat XP token. Uh, you know... You can get Olympian Feasts. Man, I don't even know what those are. Prayer Potions, Super Restores. You can even get Overloads, um, Prayer Enhancements, Divine Skilling XP Flask. Whoa, that's freaking cool. You can even get a $5 Bond, Upgrade Gems, $50 Bond, $25 Bond. Guys, that is a rare chance. I'm going to be giving one of these away, okay? Make sure you guys listen carefully. Like, comment, and and subscribe you must comment your in-game name otherwise i cannot give this to you okay i'm doing a giveaway of one of these boxes you have a one in 43 chance to get a 50 dollars bond you must do this you guys thank you so much for the support but let's get on with the slayer task ah uh, you love to see it support from the community lomax solid video for your first episode keep up the great work thank you so much Lomax, shout out to you guys. Very, very genuine person. Appreciate the support. Let's get back to Slayer. Okay, so I just voted. So I think I need to type this claim vote, perhaps. Your two votes have been claimed. Four vote points have been added for a total of four. Oh, and I got minor skilling. Okay, cool, guys. Make sure you vote. Very important. And I believe that's the end of our task as well. Let me go home and uh, figure out what the next task is. All right, now that I'm here, let's get a task. Skeletons, only 10 skeletons. That's uh, easy. Guys, we're already 30. Oh, okay. 18 prayer just from burying bones, 33 slayer, 53 attack and 44 strength. Probably gonna do attack all the way up to 60. Uh, for dragon and then I will start from there, but let's go to some skeletons. All right, we're gonna get our third ever Slayer task. I don't know if I said that correctly, but this is gonna be our third Slayer task of the account. 47 chaos druids. Um, that's gonna be some nice herbs. I've got to figure out some bank space here. I got a basic monster part and we got to examine this to see Combine these with other basic monster parts, create something nice. Okay, interesting. Um, let's see what I've got in the bank. Do a little update for you guys. Need to bank these. Um, got a bunch of herb supplies here, like crushed nests, snape grass, all that good stuff. Looking good. I need to put these mystery boxes over here for now. Uh, all the seeds are gonna go into one tab. So you guys can keep track of all this with me. I know that I'm keeping everything organized. Trying to. I'm not actually that good at keeping things organized. But I'll figure it out. Uh, we're looking good though, you guys. We are almost 60 attack. 
now I gotta get that to 60 and then I'm gonna be switching to strength and then defense we're about to make a big gains here man we're gonna be buying an adamant scimitar look at that yeah oh, I just heard my phone go off but yeah now we're mismatched but we've got a better strength and attack let's see here if we go to our view equipment thing all right so our attack well, slash is plus 29 melee strength plus 40 yeah, so it goes down to 21 and 32. Adamant, so much better. Also, while I was clicking around over here, if you go north at the home teleport and go to your class master, I went to the gatherer master and chose a skilling task. I have 109 anchovies to catch. I wonder what I'll get from that. I'll make sure to do that after this slayer task. Okay, just hit 60 attack. Now we're going to be switching over to strength. Slash. Okay, so I have one of each right now. Oh, basic monster part, part three, a two, and a one. So we're going to try to use this on two. Let's see if it. Oh. You get a basic Slayer mystery box. Slayer mystery box, superior Slayer. Okay, so you can craft them. Let's see what this... I need three ones, three twos, and three threes, and upgrade gems. Interesting. Okay, well, I'll work on that. <laughs> Bro, this Chaos Druid has been dead on the ground for like five minutes. <laughs> He's just folded, man. Let's see if I attack him. What will happen? Okay, <laughs> He's still on the ground. I already opened up a bug report claim on the Discord server, so don't worry about that, guys. But <laughs> that was just pretty funny. All right, let's see what my next task is after completing my third one. I have three Slayer points now. 33 Cockatrices. All right, now that's going to be boring. Let's go check out these uh, skilling requirement tasks that I have. It was like a hundred and something shrimp or anchovies. Let's go do that. And of course, as soon as I start fishing for this task, I get attacked by a river troll. Die, River Troll. Die. Die. Alright, let's see what I get from this. Raw bass. 51 of them. Okay, not bad, not bad. Okay, interesting. Now it says I have been awarded five skilling task points for completing one task. You know how five skilling points. Five skilling task points? Alright, so if I go back over here to my guy who's a gatherer... Can I trade him? A skilling points shop, which I've already checked this out before, but what do you do with your... Hang on a second. Oh, now I gotta catch herring, but what do you do with the... Five points, skilling task points. What do you do with skilling task points? Uh... Okay, guys, I don't know what to do with the task points. I'll figure that out. Okay, I figured it out. So the skilling points is different from the skilling tokens shop. So they each have their own shop. You come over here and then trade your master, whichever class you are. This is like 33 skilling points. So I currently have five points. Um, and then like a piece of the uniform costs 33. So you can either do the grind out skilling tasks or save up skilling tokens and you can spend them at both shops which that would be uh there's a lot of npcs you gotta have to yeah whatever but it's over here somewhere you just trade and you can spend the skilling points or the skilling tokens once you get the hang of it though i'm sure uh it, it's actually pretty easy to understand there's another cool milestone, just hit 60 strength, so I guess I'm going to go ahead and switch over to defense. Oh, uh, looking good. We are 63 combat and uh, just hit 26 defense. <laughs> going fast, man. You guys got to look at these XP drops from farming. I mean, just potatoes is 7.9k when you're a gatherer. I mean, <laughs> that's ridiculous. I've done, I've planted all the herbs that I can. Um, and all the elements that I can 
I'm already up to 37 farming, and this is just... I just finished, like, one farm run. Uh, that's crazy. I'm sure it'll slow down just a little bit, but... Um, and don't forget, you know, a gatherer class can prestige seven times, I think. So, once I max, I can prestige everything seven times. That's just crazy. My next slayer assignment is 29 cave crawlers. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I might take a break from Slayer. I'm already at 46, I think. Let me see if I can... Yeah, I can already use Vanica, and I get five points per task now, um, which I should have just done that, but I didn't. Anyways, I might take a break and go check out the Cyclopses to see if I can grind out a Defender. I'm not sure on any of that yet, but we're going to check it out. Okay guys, one thing I've learned is that if you examine a monster, their drop table pops up. An amazing feature that should be possible in all RuneScape, but check this out. They always drop big bones, they always drop 100 uh, PVM tokens, and this is where you grind out your defenders. You walk uh, east through the mine at, at the home teleport, you just walk east through the little mining area, and then you're here at the Cyclopses. Uh, you have a 1 in 9 chance of getting a bone part or a basic Slayer mystery box. I wonder what's in those, by the way. Let me if I can... Ooh! You can just examine those. It's just herbs and seeds. And you have a chance of getting rare. Oh, that's a lot of tokens. Awesome, that's great. Uh, oop, oop, no, 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 no. Let's examine the Cyclops again. Um, anyways, you have a 1 in 43 chance of getting a Defender and plus a 15% like increase on my drop rates because of my game mode. Um, so I don't really know if that's calculated into the 15% or if it's this plus 15%, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but I need to go through bronze, def uh, iron, steel, blah, blah, blah. You know the basic grind all the way up to rune. Um, and then when you get the rune, you gotta go over here to the special area to get the dragon. But check this out. If you scroll all the way down, you have a chance of getting a giant champion scroll 4300, but a mega rare would be an oxy defender. And notice, this does not have a requirement under it. Now I did talk to Winter, he says there's one in the game. He will not tell me the drop rate on this. <laughs> so he says there, I, there is one in the game, but you could technically skip all of these if you get super super lucky and get the oxy defender i think that's the best one in the game that's gonna be interesting um so i'm probably gonna fish honestly so i can get some better food cook the food and then grind out some defenders and just work on getting a better defensive gear um i may mine a little bit too and then maybe see if i can smith rune or or, or adamant armor i'm not sure yet guys there's a lot to do a lot to figure out it's gonna be really really fun um let's see 784 total level and i did say at the beginning of the video i had two community mystery boxes i was gonna give one away and i was gonna open one for myself so here we go let's open one awesome five dollar bond 454 upgrade gems Oh man, 15 super combat potions and 5 Olympian feasts. Oh, I love it, man. Morsic just received 5 Olympic feasts from looting a community mystery box. Congrats, Morsic, on your guide. Hey, that's pretty cool. <laughs> pretty cool, you guys. Um, thank you so much for watching this. I think that's going to be it for episode 2. Can't wait to see you guys for episode 3. Thank you.